During the latter half of the Cold War and the years that followed, the Philippines heavily relied on its mutual defense treaty with the United States to guarantee its external defense. Because of that, the Philippines' armed forces oriented toward internal security and counterinsurgency efforts. In 1991, when the Philippine Senate rejected a treaty that would have extended the lease on American bases, the United States withdrew and left the Philippine Air Force and Navy external defense in a precarious position. So after tensions rose over territorial disputes, in the South China Sea in 1995, the Philippine Congress passed the Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Act. The law ordered a transformation of its military into a self-reliant and credible force oriented toward external defense. The Philippines now consider an external defense architecture design around mobile coastal defense batteries, equipped with long-range anti-ship missiles and protected by an integrated air defense umbrella. Such an architecture would provide the Philippines with an effective means to counter surface combatants, improve the survivability of its forces against naval aviation or ballistic missiles, and implement lower procurement, maintenance and operational readiness costs than conventional forces. The Philippine government's new capabilities-based defense budgeting process offers the country an opportunity to study and adapt to this defense architecture, which become increasingly necessary as rising powers, such as China, have begun to test Philippine maritime sovereignty at places like Scarborough Shoal and the Spratly Islands. With most of the Spratly Islands lying only a few hundred kilometers off its shores, the Philippines seems well situated to defend its claims in the South China Sea, but it has nearly no capacity to do so against China. Like most other Southeast Asian countries, the Philippines has recognized its need to rebuild its external defense forces. In this video, we will see the procurement of the Rafael Spider Air Defense System to fulfill a requirement for a ground-based air defense system, and soon will be operated by the Philippine Air Force Air Defense Command. Looking at how much it costs, how many batteries will there be? But more importantly, we will look at what it is capable of, and when we could see it in action. The Philippine Air Force has been eyeing such a system for several decades, only in 2012 that consideration made for the acquisition of such a system. As early as June 2013, the Rafael Spider Air Defense System is already at the forefront of any ground-based air defense system acquisition plan. The Rafael Spider is the Philippine Air Force favorite to win the selection process and was among the first to offer a ground-based air defense system even before the actual pre-procurement process and could have been used as a basis for the project's technical specifications. As reported several years ago that several Department of National Defense and Philippine Air Force officials already went to Israel to check on the system and the production in Israeli factories. But several delays in the project implementation, including not being included in the finalized first and second lists of Horizon 1, forced the ground-based air defense system acquisition project to move to the next Horizon 2 for implementation between 2018 to 2022. In 2016 and 2017, the Spider Air Defense System was already obviously leading in the Philippine Air Force Technical Working Group evaluation compared to competitors. The Israeli defense technology Rafael offered both their Spider Short Range and Spider Medium Range. The German arms manufacturer Deal Defense offered their Iris TSL, a short range, and SLM, a long range missile system. The Indian manufacturers of ammunitions and missile systems Barrett Dynamics offered their Akash is a medium-range mobile surface-to-air missile defense system. And the United States defense manufacturer of weapons and military and commercial electronics Raytheon offered their MIM-23 Hawk 21 is low to medium altitude ground-to-air missile system. Based on this evaluation, the Spider Air Defense System got the highest scoring, despite deal defense closely edging the Spider system in terms of overall performance. They considered that the Spider system is more cost-effective, as it costs far lower than the Deal Defense system, 
and the Philippine Air Force would be allowed to acquire more systems with the budget they have. The Philippine Air Force Technical Working Group also received new offers from Russia's Buck Medium Range Air Defense Missile System. And South Korea's KM Sam Chiol Meitu is a medium range surface to air missile system. Despite this, the Spider system still edged out its competition. Based on both performance and pricing, the Russian Buck missile system, as expected, will have problems with compatibility and interoperability with the existing c i star system of the armed forces of the Philippines. Meanwhile, there's no mention of how the Spider system edged out the Korean KM SAM. In 2018, the Philippine Air Force, only waiting for funding, as the technical working group was already decided on the Spider air defense system early on. After several months of negotiations with Israel's Ministry of Defense and Rafael Advanced Systems, the government has finally allocated enough budget worth 6 billion pesos, said to be good enough for three batteries of Spider extended range. An advantage of selecting the Spider air defense system is that it uses the same Python 5 and the new extended range derby missiles which are compatible in fighter aircraft of the Philippine Air Force existing fleet, like the F-50 and the future multi-role fighters. In June 2019, the government released the initial 15% of the contract, worth 1 billion pesos, which constitutes the first of three multi-year contractual authority for the project. The Philippine government expected to release the second and third repayments by 2020 and 2021, based on the project's contract between the Department of National Defense and Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. The three batteries of Rafael Spider Air Defense System for the Philippine Air Force, scheduled for delivery in 2021. Also, Rafael may have already provided the initial deliverable products as part of the project, including equipment for training, testing and support equipment and spare parts for the Philippine Air Force Spider Air Defense System last 2020. The Spider Air Defense System will provide web look protection against a broad spectrum of modern airborne threats including aircraft, helicopter, cruise missiles, UAVs, and precision-guided weapons. The Spider Extended Range is a short-range mobile air defense system but only using an extended range missile that allow a maximum engagement range of 35 to 40 kilometers, rapidly deployable and ready to fire. It can operate in all weather conditions, and the battery units include a classified number of missile firing vehicles, a command and control vehicle, Python 5 and iDerby extended range missiles, a missile supply vehicle, and a field service vehicle. A typical configuration of Spider Extended Range System, with a complete battalion consisting of at least three batteries, or squadrons of for mobile firing units each batteries. And each mobile firing units deploys for missiles stored in ready-to-fire launcher containers. This configuration enables simultaneous engagement of multi-targets and ripple firing capability. Since the Philippine Air Force is acquiring three batteries, a similar configuration might be used. It can also accommodate the Elta Atar 3D surveillance radar and to operating consoles. The surveillance radar can simultaneously track and engage up to 60 targets at a range beyond 35 kilometers. The control unit interfaces with the firing units via wireless data link to enable optimal unit dispersion for area coverage, mutual protection, and survivability. The Spider System's high mobility offers quick deployment and operational agility. The system has modern communication for internal squadron communication and to upper tier command. The spider systems effectively protect population centers, strategic sites, and valued assets. It can also shield mobile forces, roads, strategic points, airport or airbase protection. The missiles are capable of air-to-air -air application, which are compatible in fighter aircraft of the Philippine Air Force existing fleet like the F-50 and the future multi-role fighters. The Spider systems are already operational with several armed forces. These are the advantages. They all turn fire and forget or target update capabilities, lock on before launch and lock on after launch modes of operation, quick reaction mobile air defense system, detection and destruction of short to medium aerial targets. This development means the Philippine Air Force is getting closer 
to having a ground-based air defense missile system to defend critical air bases and other interests. It also appears that the Philippine Air Force will be acquiring additional ground-based air defense system as part of the Horizon 3, covering fiscal years 2023 to 2028, as it plans to increase coverage of air defense systems to more locations in the country that may include longer-range systems, including medium-range and long-range. The Philippine Air Force is with the Department of National Defense, aim in renovating the very system itself to improve the structure, capabilities, performance, and governance. With this missile system already set for delivery in early or mid-2021, and soon will be operated by the Air Defense Command, this will surely help its mandated duty to defend the nation from both internal and external threats.